Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, and this is a quick lesson in tuning a guitar using harmonics. 5th and 7th fret, 5th and 7th fret, 5th and 7th fret. Actually, this is my second video on harmonics in vibrator seismic acquisition. In my previous harmonics video, I covered what harmonics are, medical uses for harmonics, how harmonics are generated in seismic data, and what they look like. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can separate harmonics from a sweep record. We're going to have a listen to them as well, and quickly look at why we are bothering with harmonics in the first place. Here we go! From my previous video, harmonics are created when a vibrator bass plate warps and flexes as a fundamental signal is generated. The fundamental and the harmonics are imparted to the earth as signal. The recorded sweep at the bass plate contains the fundamental, in our case, a nonlinear sweep from 6 to 240 Hz, and its harmonics. The harmonics are the strongest at this point as they have not passed through the earth. The mathematical representation of a sweep recorded at the vibrator is fairly simple. Leaving out random noise, we start off with a fundamental sweep with the convolutional filter alpha. We add in higher harmonics from the second harmonic to n harmonics. In our case, we can only see a maximum of 10 harmonics in the sweep and 4 harmonics in traces. These combined give us our distorted sweep. We then apply a continuous Gabor transform, which is the generalization of the Fourier transform, to our distorted sweep. We use the least squares methodology to find the modulations of the harmonics with respect to time and frequency. Now the whole harmonic decomposition methodology is a little complicated and takes some time to explain. So I will skip all the lovely derivations and equations for now. Before I get to the harmonics, I will let you listen to what a recorded sweep sounds like. Within the sweep are up to 10 harmonics, as well as subharmonics and noise. You can clearly see in the frequency spectra the location of the first four harmonics. While there are about 10 harmonics within the sweep, none of which we can decompose, we are only going to be concerned with the first three as these are the only harmonics whose strength exceeds noise beyond the sweep point. Using our decomposition method, we can now have a listen to the first harmonic or the equivalent of the fundamental. We can also listen to the second harmonic as decomposed from our distorted sweep. And now the third harmonic. All of these harmonics are approximately noise free. What is left over after the decomposition of 9 harmonics is residual. This is the residual, or what is left over after we have decomposed harmonics from a sweep record. The audio of the residual is quite interesting because there are pops and engine noises and... right there. Did you hear it? There are people talking on the seismic line. Nah, I'm kidding. It's a bit of... But the residual is an interesting listen. We now have the ability to precisely extract the first, second, and third harmonics, all of which appear well above noise. An ultimate question is... So why are we going through the trouble of decomposing harmonics from a sweep record at all? In a typical vibrator survey, only the fundamental energy is harnessed when using certain correlation techniques. Harmonics have traditionally been considered noise to be attenuated from data. 
However, now that we have the ability to extract exact harmonic frequencies with precise modulations from sweep records, and we know that these harmonic energies are well above noise on near offset in a survey, we should be able to push the frequency bandwidth beyond the fundamental limits. To recap, harmonics are prevalent in vibrator seismic acquisition and generally considered noise. However, we are able to decompose up to nine harmonics out of the sweep using the Gabor transform and least squares methodology. In part three of harmonics and seismic acquisition, I will go into how we can potentially use those higher harmonic frequencies to better image thin, shallow reflectors. If you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and network, and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris, and keep rocking.